real quick. This is my latest toy from Titan Fitness. A uh, little curl attachment that fits on your T3 or X3 power rack. Uh, I used my safety arms out there as a bar catch. And I've got a rackable bar on here. Uh, nice little setup. I'm, I'm going to try this on my SPR 1000 rack just to see if it fits because I have this feeling that uh, this may be able to uh, be cross utilized on a different manufacturer's rack. So I'll try it out. I'll let you know. But uh, nice little attachment here. Titan Fitness packaged well, arrived safely in good shape. That's about it. So very briefly again you guys this is the Titan curl attachment and I I put it on my uh, body solid SBR 1000. Of course your your pins your diameter your hole is larger on the SPR 1000 but this latch pin is really just to keep the uh, three inch rack from swinging out so once it's in place and you've got a uh, kind of a cotter pin attachment on the back side of this this pin, this locking pin on both sides. It's going to keep your bar from swinging out. The only play you really have is this uh, little slight wobble in the curl, but when you have your arms weighted down with the curl bar, it doesn't really move around that much. And uh, it does that same movement, whether you're on this body solid SPR 1000 or the X3 Titan rack. Either one, you're going to have that little bit of play in there. But uh, as far as the pins holding the bar on, pretty solid here. Uh, I think you'd be happy with it considering there aren't that many attachments for your SPR 1000. So again, um, this is the Titan X3 T3 curl attachment for those racks. And I put it on a body solid SPR 1000 rack I mean there's a little minor shift in here because again these pins are a different size the holes on the uh, SPR 1000 rack are larger than the uh, the pins on the X3 but I mean, you're really limited on SPR 1000, the amount of attachments you, you can get for it, unfortunately. So, uh, you know, this is this is a workable workable attachment for this for this rack. It's not designed for it. It's designed for the X3. Um, I'm sure you could snug up those pins somehow, put a bolt through there. That's a little larger bolt and clamp it down. But uh, it's a workable workable attachment for the SPR 1000. I'll put it on the X3. Now here we are again on the uh, Titan X3 rack, which is what this curl attachment was designed for. There's still a little shake in this, a little shimmy, but when you have your weight over the rack, you're solid. Uh, one thing I there's not much we can do about it, but when you come up, if you're sloppy, you're going to hit the bar. But if you focus, it works really good. I'm using the safety arms that I bought for this rack as the catch for that, so I kind of have a standing curl. I like this, uh, this attachment. I think it's going to work good. So getting back to that little shimmy in the bench when your weight isn't over it, your curl bench. So this is just held on. There's actually pins that seat down into this uh, cross member. So it's not really bolted on. It's just uh, setting in these holes if I can get it back in there. There you go. So, so it's just seated in the uh, cross member, and then it drops down in there like that. So, but once your weight is over this, it's it's solid. It's a nice attachment. Saves you have to have a if you don't have a lot of room and you don't want to have a 
very devoted to a preacher curl bench or a standing curl bench. There it is, right there on your uh, your power rack. And coming up, I'm going to do a quick little demo of this uh, cambered bar that I got from uh, Titan Fitness. This thing is a monster. I mean, uh, it's $179, but that's a heck of a lot of uh, multi-bar, cambered bar for $179. So fun, it's supposed to reduce shoulder pain, and I'll give a quick demo of it tomorrow.